Well, the field has accomplished uh, a great many things since uh, Kingdon's uh, agendas, alternatives, and public policy that appeared in 1984. So we're talking about since 1984, what has happened. Uh, first and foremost, we have moved beyond uh, Kingdon's original application to agenda setting, even though most uh, scholars tend to think of multiple streams as primarily affecting or explaining, I should say, agenda setting. It actually does far more than that. It also explains policy formation, how decisions are made, for example. And to a lesser extent, we are now moving into uh, the stage of implementation, that is, can we apply it fruitfully and productively to implementation? The answer, of course, is yes, but a lot more work uh, remains to be done to make it a much more uh, effective uh, perspective in that uh, regard. Uh, one of the biggest problems that we uncovered in a recent uh, uh, lit review in the, 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 the Policy Studies Journal is that there are quite a few scholars who use it but not in an analytical way. That is, they don't explicitly generate hypotheses that they then can proceed to test, but nevertheless use it as an organizing concept. While that is important and useful, it's not theoretically very productive, and we need to do far more than that. Well, my priorities for future developments in the multiple streams approach will be threefold. The first thing is to um, address much more explicitly and systematically the role of strategies and policy entrepreneurs in the policy process. Not only how they pull the three streams together, under what conditions, but also what kinds of strategies that they use, and most importantly, when are these strategies successful, and when are they not successful? What can we learn about all of this stuff? The second um, area would be democratic governance. Uh, we have yet to talk about democratic governance within the, the policy streams approach, even though uh, democracy was probably the number one concern of the original policy analysts in the 50s, and that's how the study of public policy essentially emerged. Not only that is to solve problems, but also to solve them in the right way. And since uh, multiple streams helps explain the process, it needs to also tell us a few things about how, why the process is like that and how can the process be uh, made far more transparent. Finally, I would hope that analysts also look at how they can now begin to synthesize the findings from the various stages of the process into a single theory of public policy. That is, we have developed all of these uh, ad adaptations of multiple streams in agenda setting, in policy formation, and in implementation. But how do they all fit together? Can we come up with a broader perspective within multiple streams that helps synthesize the findings and connects them and links them together to show us how public policy uh, works, uh, not only in national governments, obviously that's what we want to do, but also perhaps more importantly in addressing transnational problems because our social problems are increasingly becoming more transnational in nature and of course sub-regional because they're the ones that affect us the most. Excellent. Thank you.